Hello everybody, AJ Rising here, and today we're going to customize our LibreOffice toolbars. Now, the stock configuration is pretty good, um, especially since LibreOffice 4.4 came out. They really did a lot of work to streamline the toolbars. Uh, they make sense. Uh, a lot of the very rarely used buttons were taken off, um, but that doesn't mean that it's perfect for the way that you work. Uh, some of those buttons that weren't often used, maybe you're one of the persons or people that uh, that did use it fairly often. Um, and everybody works differently. Everybody is using LibreOffice for different purposes. So, you know, it's nice that you can come in here and set the toolbars up exactly the way that you want. So that's what we're going to do today. Let me go and pull this out of the way so you can see the whole screen. And as you see here, I've got basically the stock configuration set up right now. Um, now you can go and if you look at the toolbars that we've got over here on the left hand side, you can see these little lines right there. Basically those are like drag handles. So you can go and pull that toolbar down and it's no longer docked. So you could go and move it around. Uh, say that you have um, uh, multiple monitors set up. You can go and drag this over and put it over on the other monitor so it's out of your way, you know, save a little space or something. You can also go drag it over to the left hand side and there we go. And now we've got the toolbar over on the left hand side. And you could go and click the little close button here. It gets rid of the toolbar. If you want to bring it back, just come back over to our view, go down to toolbars, and let's see, that was the formatting bar, so let's click that, and it brings it right back. And you can even push it back up here, and it's back in place now. So that's kind of the, the, the essence of, of moving around, undocking, and, uh, and redocking, get rid of them, that, that sort of thing. Now the next thing that I'd like to show you is how to actually customize the bars themselves. So one of my criticisms of LibreOffice ever since they came up with the sidebar here is that the sidebar reproduces all of the functions of this toolbar right here with the exception of this little style drop down. Now if you go and click on this tab right here that says styles it gives you an entire list of all the styles and from here you can go and modify the styles and all that kind of stuff and I've seen people go and undock that and and set it right down here so that you know you've got basically this this box right here and then you've taken this box put it down here but I really don't need that basically all I need is this little style uh, apply style box um, and, and then once I once I had that over here I could completely get rid of this toolbar which you know from a, from a space perspective on a widescreen monitor it makes sense uh, you know let, let's get as much vertical space as we can um, we've got excess horizontal space you know even if I go and, and make the uh, my document area a little wider. I've still got plenty of space to spare. So let's go and uh, and we will go and do a little customization so that we can basically do that. So let's click on view and toolbars and customize and you can see here there's various stuff that you can customize from here but we're going to work on toolbars. Select the toolbar that you want. All of them are listed there and this top one is called the standard toolbar and you can see in this list it shows you everything that is uh, included on that toolbar so we're going to go and I'm going to add that style box to it alright so what we want let's go and we will click on add and we're going, we want the apply style which was found under documents so we're going to select apply style and click on add and as you can see that added it to this toolbar and now let's just go and click OK 
we can get rid of this toolbar here because we don't need it anymore and you see that gets us a little more vertical space and I mean you could go and change the order of this and you know however you wanted, uh, wanted that laid out now another option let's say that you wanted uh, you know wanted even more space let's go and come over here to edit or I'm sorry view again and let's get rid of the sidebar and here's that formatting bar let's go and we'll slam it up against the side here and basically gives us the majority of those functions you know we basically got that toolbar along the side now and if we wanted to because we still have this the, the apply style bar or uh, uh, thingy right there uh, we could come in here to format I'm sorry uh, uh, back to view again and go to the, the customized toolbars and under the formatting bar come down to formatting we don't need apply styles anymore so we can just click that get rid of it we can also get rid of the font name or maybe we do keep it I don't know so we did that and actually probably the the smart thing since on the font name you really don't you really don't see it uh, because we're we're doing a, a vertical toolbar there. Maybe we go and we add that to our uh, our standard toolbar. So let's go and do that. Let's go and pull up our standard toolbar. And let's add Let's see if we can find that now. I have to do a little search in here because I'm not exactly sure. Ah, here it is right there. We'll add that. And just by dragging down, you can see I, uh, I changed the order. And, uh, you know, maybe we need to add also the uh, font size. Although we do have it over here. Probably don't need to recreate that. But we could if we wanted to. Um, so you can see we've got all those right there. Well, that about finishes this tutorial up. Hope it helps you out, gives you some ideas on how you might like to set up, uh, you know, set up LibreOffice so that it works, it works for you. Uh, as always, leave comments, questions, all that kind of stuff down below. Um, if you got a request for how to do certain, certain, certain something in LibreOffice, just let me know and I will get you a, a tutorial up as soon as I possibly can. Be sure to subscribe and I will see you on the next video. Thanks a lot.